I am trying to do is in this video, I am trying to see what focal loss is. How do I plan to do that? I have a paper of focal loss, which was, I think around 2018, it was published in uh, 2018. And before starting this focal loss, let's try to understand when do we use focal loss? Basically, focal loss have their own use cases. The most common or widely used use case is the object detection task, task where you are kind of detecting object. And the second scenario is when you have imbalanced data, when you have, when your data is imbalanced. Uh, in both cases, what focal loss is doing is it is trying to focus the shift on class, which is uh, a minority class, or let's say I have five or three classes. Let's say I have three classes, banana, mango, and apple. And I have 20 samples of banana and 200, 200 samples of mango and apple. So what I'll try to do is, or what uh, focal loss will try to do is it will try to shift the uh, model tuning towards what uh, banana is looking forward for like it will try to predict or it will try to fine tune the model it will try to set the weights in your model so that it can uh, uh, focus more on predicting banana more correctly and give less attention to bananas and mangoes because sorry apples and mangoes because uh, banana here is a minority class and how do we do it it's as simple as focal loss is adding a parameter called as gamma to your categorical cross entropy, which is uh, used for multi-class classification. So focal loss is basically trying to add a hyper parameter called as gamma. And when your gamma is zero, this thing is your CE. This thing is your CE. It is nothing but your C when your comma in focal loss is zero, it is same as your cross entropy. Now let's try to understand this graph by uh, first, what, what is your X axis probability of ground truth class? So probability of me predicting that it is mango. Probability of me predicting is mango. Let's say is 0.7 is 0.7 and uh the loss function near this is around 0.5 so what i try to do is uh in if it was cross entropy i would have worked more on optimizing this loss but for what focal loss will do is let's say I have focal loss with gamma five and what it will do is I'll select a different color. What it will try to do is let's say with same probability of 0.7 and let's say rather than using green one, I'll use the purple one, which is gamma equal to two. What it will try to do is If my model knows, if my model knows that uh, probability is pretty good, like probability is around 0.7, it will reduce the loss to nearer to 0 0.01 so that now it can focus more where my model is predicting something which is below 0 0.4. So let's say if I have something new where this is what my model is uh, trying to predict, the focal loss for that will be around 0.3. This is the basic crux of what focal loss is doing. It will try to focus more where model is struggling to give a probability. So let's say if my model is giving me a probability of 0.1 of uh, classifying a class as 0.1, what it will do is it will focus more on it because now for this the loss function will be two. 
loss function will be 2. But if my model knows that it is around 0 0.6, like it is 0.55 or something, it won't focus on it. Why? Because, because uh, something greater than 0.5 is acceptable. Like that is a threshold that we keep for classifying it. And if my threshold is above 0.5, it will automatically give me, it will automatically uh, kind of reduce the loss function so I can, my model can focus more where probability is quite lower. 